on today's episode of what the hell am I doing wrong and fighting myself over this antenna, read all you guys' comments, uh, tried everything you said, even spoke to Dr. Jack uh, from Compact Tenna, who is very, very, very informative, and I just could not come up with a solution. But right now, as I'm making this video, look what my rig expert says. 1.08 to 1 with a 28, almost 29 dB uh, return loss, okay, at 51.2 ohms. Here's what I determined. I woke up this morning at 7 o'clock, came out here to wake up for a minute, all right? And I said, wait a second. I stood right here, and I said, why is the reflector and driven element so close together? Now, I, here's what I did. Uh, let, me, let me talk you through this. I went through the ballon, and I said, well, you know, people wanted me to direct feed it. So I direct fed it. It wouldn't work because I think you got some, some matching here, you know, with this loop in here. And then there's loops here. So just tying coax to it was nothing. I mean, there was nothing going on. Um, so then what I did was, now in the, the last videos, we had a reflector here, then a driven element, and then started the directors. And you could see the distance between, between the whole... I don't trip over this box one more time. See all the, the, the spacing between those, right? And then here, they're, you know, it's a lot closer together. So, right here. Right. So, what I did was I took the reflector out of here, put it here. I took the driven element out of here and put it here. And at that point, this is what I got. Right here, okay? That's not bad at all. But is that supposed to be that way? Now, here's another thing. The, the manual says, nothing about spacing, of course, because I already pre-drilled holes. But the manual says that this here, okay, which I had when I first put the antenna together, from the, the insulator to the inside of this where it attaches to the, the driven element should be one and a quarter inches. And from that to here should be five and nine sixteenth of an inch. When I did that, it was 479, 480 megahertz, and nothing would change no matter what. And then I went through this morning or yesterday checking this, right? And trying to see, well, maybe everybody says the balance could be wrong. I, I used different coax. And what I found was, of course, in the unswitched position right now, this, you watch, see? See how it throws the SWR off when I'm touching it? Okay. But then I touched the other driven element and nothing was moving. I applied 9 to 15 volts here, or 12 volts rather, and the relay switched. Now this one was active and I could see on the analyzer touching that doesn't have any effect. So basically what I'm trying to say is when the relay is in the unswitched position, it's it I am seeing the actual antenna. A lot of people said you're you're probably just seeing what's in here. That's why nothing is moving when you adjust. I mean I put a steel rod in here, same 316th steel rod, cut it three inches longer, nothing. I spread these out, I had them all the way out, nothing. It wouldn't move. But by doing this and putting the reflector and the driven element farther away, that's what I can get. This is a 1.08, 1.09, probably even better if I'm up higher and away from that grill and the metal poles are on a pool. Okay, but that's pretty damn good. But I, from my understanding, it might affect the the reflector, the, uh, how would you put it? You know, the, the, the beam width maybe, the uh, directivity, the front to back ratio, I'm not sure. But I don't know, because both of them say now, so this one here, I took these out. This was originally the reflector, and the driven element now would be under there, which I'm going to have a hard time putting it under there, because that's in the way, because these are so close to the boom. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. If I flip this over, this side, okay, now that means this matchbox is going to have to be either here or here. It's supposed to be in the back and the cables run off. So something just doesn't make sense. Here's my question to you. Do I complete it like this, put it all together, put these back in, and then of course with me, I have to take every element out starting here and move it forward. Well, actually, okay, I got one on the table, which was here. So that's gonna go here. This one's gonna come out and go here. This one's gonna come out and go here and so on until I get to the end of the antenna where I'm missing elements. They weren't in the package. So that's gonna be a lot of work to do because those push nuts don't come off too easy. I'm gonna have, you have to like hammer this in with a hammer till you get it like this and then grab a hold of this side, pull it with the, with the hammer claw on here, yank that off. And I'm running out of those things if I break any. So what a pain in the butt, man. 
Um, this is, if you want to get a better snapshot of, if I go to all parameters. All right, so there's, there's that 1.08 to 1 at 51.4 ohms, return loss 29 dB. Um, there's your, that, let me see. Yeah, I mean, that's getting scientific there. I don't even look at those numbers half the time. And then if I want to sweep it, let me show you. There, here's the sweep. Let it run. Okay. That's where I got it right now, just in that situation. Is that bad? Because at this point, <laughs> I mean, if I wanted to leave the way they were and drill new holes for a reflector, I'd be out of room. I'd be on this pipe here that's, you know... I don't, I don't think I should have to drill holes, but that's my question. If I keep this like this, right? Cause I, I've made Yaggies before that worked. I've made cubicle quads and I don't remember. I know some calculators online show a closer space for the driven element. So the first director, they show a closer space um, for the, the uh, or, or equal space. I don't think I've ever seen a driven element and a reflector that close together, unless I'm wrong. But what will be the disadvantage because i'm not doing <laughs> my antenna relies on you if i take this whole look how straight those elements are that's pretty cool but yeah so i don't want to take this thing apart unless i have to, absolutely have to so comment below um we will continue to go putting this together and seeing how i'm going to mount that balloon and where it's going to go it's probably going to go like i said here run a loop around for this and then another one over to here. I don't know how I'm going to fit the, ca the box here, the cable over to here. Then this one got a loop around it. And then it's going to become a cluster, a fuster cluck. So I don't know. There you go. There's your update here on the uh, satellite antenna or the moonbound antenna project in the backyard. 7-3.